My particular interest in this area in relationship to uh, cancer and ovarian cancer and other challenging cancers is in the area of prevention because we've gone a long distance in terms of preventing cardiovascular disease. We have uh, lots of things that we can look for and lots of things that we can do to prevent cardiovascular disease before it's advanced. And I think we're entering a realm where we're soon going to be able to do that with many challenging cancers, including ovarian cancer. There's evidence that uh, things like exercise, uh, things in our environment, certain environmental toxins, chemicals that mimic estrogen in the body, um, can have an impact on cancer development. And there are also uh, certain dietary uh, habits that can have an impact on cancer. Uh, vitamin D, for example, uh, has been shown to be preventive in ovarian cancer. And women who drink green tea uh, have a reduced instance of ovarian cancer. So these are some areas that I think we really need to exploit and hopefully we'll be able to research some of these things and come up with uh, really a systemic program for cancer prevention. Uh, hopefully we'll hit that magic bullet, uh, that uh, cure that'll uh, save women who develop this cancer, but in the meantime I think the emphasis should be on prevention.